Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Empress Radio. So today's video is Surviving Martel Holt. So this comes after his magazine where, you know, he says that he's a survivor. He survived losing his marriage and having to start over and everyone's like surviving, you know, like if anything, we're all surviving Martel Holt, you know. So this all comes after uh, Martel pretty much in the interview said that um, he had Knox that Arion got pregnant with Knox af uh, after him and Melody already were divorcing. So he pretty much is like revising history at this point. You know, um, Melody was only like three months. I think Sugar Mama was only three months old when he had um, impregnated Arion. And it's crazy because um, their birthdays are literally like almost a year apart, if not a year apart exactly, because Ariane did a post once and she was saying pretty much that she had that date and it was Sugar Mama's birthday. So a lot of people are speculating that Sugar Mama and Knox actually have the same birthday a year apart, you know? So, um, I don't know why he just thinks he could like revise history as if we haven't, uh, watched the show, you know? But so this is the magazine article. Tim, exclusive Mark to hold on co-parenting and losing everything. So um, I'm going to show you guys a zoomed in uh, screenshot that somebody posted about the magazine. So um, this is him, the survivor. Wow. Okay. So dramatic. Like what, if anything, everyone else is surviving Martel Holt, you know? <laughs> but yeah, so Love and Marriage Hunts for reality TV star. Martel Holt talks co-parenting, finding love again, and owning his mistakes. So um, when I say that I started over, I mean all the way over. Breakout reality TV star Martel Holt of Love and Marriage Huntsville has, faced, uh, with, has been faced with several life-changing alterations to his daily decision-making process, friend circles, and his career. First, he and his wife of 12 years decided to divorce. The hardest part was going through a public divorce on national television. Viewers tune in, and, uh, tune in to the real-life drama and watch everything play out on top on the top ranked on a network reality TV show. But there is nothing like getting the story straight from the source. No television cameras necessary. We caught up with Martel while he was in Atlanta spending time with his reported love interest, Real Housewives of Atlanta star Sheree Whitfield. So Upscale says, you look amazing today. Uh, so this is him. Um, you look amazing today. I'm glad you don't look like what you've been through. They are already starting off on cat. <laughs> uh, you are dealing with co-parenting, new schedules, a new baby, and basically a whole new life. How are you balancing everything? So Martel says, a lot of the Martel you saw back then, um, you know, I was a little bit more reserved. I am always transparent about things I'm going through. When I say that I started over, I mean all the way over. I've been through bankruptcy, business bankruptcy, and rebuilding businesses adjusting to having the kids seven days on and seven days off. I am still a strict parent and I still want things done a certain way. I just don't talk about them, things going on between their mom and I. Making sure the kids get to remain kids is important. To me. Uh, Upscale says, you have an addition to the family since you're divorced too. Knox is gorgeous. He strongly resembles all the rest of the children. And don't be saying since you're divorced. He had a new addition while he was married, but okay. Um, so Martel says, I have those strong genes, I guess. So I introduced the kids to Knox when he was about four or five months old. I wanted to make sure the time was right. I recorded everything. You know, in the situation that my ex-wife and I had, we were not together when Ariana was pregnant and we weren't together when Knox was born. Cat. <laughs> um, Melody said that she already had left him, um, but that was when he told her that she was pregnant. Like they were still together when, when he got Ariana pregnant. Because it was only three months after she had Sugar Mama. So, cap, cap, cap. <laughs> Calling cap on the whole thing. Um, when people go through situations like this, you know, a lot of uh, people would wait until the kids were in their teenage years or even adulthood to introduce them to each other. But I love all my kids so much. I explained to them that they have a little brother, daddy's son, and told them I want uh, them to meet him. Of course, they had questions as kids do. Two weeks later, I took them to my mom's house to meet Knox, and it was love at first sight. I hate that I waited so long, you know. Uh, you must move on and move forward, he says. Okay, so you guys heard what he had to say in the magazine article. Um, so after all, I mean, before all this, uh, he, there was a petition that came out, and it pretty much spoke on all the stuff that Martel has done wrong. So I'm going to show you guys what they had to say on the petition. So the petition says... 
Marta Holt has become dangerous and unhinged. He cheated on his beautiful wife of 12 years with Coleslaw, who bore him an outside son in the marriage. Then he sues the ex-wife for needing daycare since she has to work. He stole $17,000 out of the joint bank account before the divorce was final. He refused to let his ex-wife get her things out of the marital home, resulting in his kids having to sleep on air mattresses. He allegedly abused his son, causing Melody to have to report him and keep her kids safe from him for 56 days. He needed to be physically restrained by Marceau on the Vegas trip because he was getting too aggressive with his ex-wife. He disrespects women and any woman who comes close to him has to be ashamed. Now he's taking his ex-wife to court for full custody because she let her gay brother babysit their four children. We are canceling Martel Holt for homophobia and abuse. We are asking for the cancellation of Martel Holt, including boycotting his products and Sutter Home Wine. If that doesn't work, we will boycott Love and Marriage Huntsville until Carlos King limits his exposure on the show. This abuse and homophobic abuse cannot go unnoticed any longer. Okay, so you guys heard that. And then not only that, we all remember the time when he um, pretty much went live with the kids and was bashing Melody and everyone was disgusted by it. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit. We're here to take these uh, these amazing children to school. I um, got some disturbing news from my children on last night. Oh my God, it feels so good out here. Yeah, I got some disturbing news, you know, for good morning. So the dog's giving me a good morning. Wake up. Guys, tell I wake up, love to come outside and look at this beautiful view. It's like refreshing, right? I got a little um, disturbing news. Um, you know, the kids were telling me several things while they haven't been in my presence. But good morning, good morning. Know that um, Melody's brother, you know, started posting pictures of, you know, like all of us and stuff like that back in the day. I guess, um, you know, showing that he's been around for quite some time. That's cool. Hey guys. You ready to roll? Hey guys, um, you guys say that um, Uncle Marcus hit y'all? Okay, so who did he hit? Me and Tank. He hit you and Tank. Okay, my thing is, you know, if someone is um, touching us. Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> but listen, I don't think no one should be touching your children, especially when you um. They have a mom and they have a dad. Anything ever goes wrong, that phone call needs to be made. And also, um, if you're not teaching my children anything, if you're not um, putting any value into my children, you definitely don't need to be touching them. Yeah. Guys, um, they're just asking, what all has Uncle Marcus taught you guys? I'm nothing. No, 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 seriously. I mean, like, what has he, like, taught you guys since you guys been visiting with mom? What has he taught you guys? Taught us nothing, but always tells us to turn off the light when we're yeah. done with them. Right. Oh, uh, speaking of turning the lights out, y'all told me, what, what did he call y'all when y'all didn't turn the lights out? Retarded. He called my children retarded. Big no-no. Don't ever call children names like that, because that sticks with them. Yeah. They told me this a while back, but I, I, I mean, I haven't addressed it, but I'm going to from here on out, guys. I'm going to address things like that. Um, touching my children, that's a big no-no. Um, I'll be making them a phone call this morning because they just, they just let me know this. Um, that's not. Nice. No, 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 it's not good. And, um, l let's see, because, you know, I got a, I got a list of things. So, what, 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 guys, t what have do daddy taught you guys? Because I know I'm the, I'm the ice cream boy or something like that. But what, ha what, honestly, guys, what has daddy taught you guys? How to swim, read. Brush our teeth, put our clothes on, hang our clothes up. Because I'm all, I'm all about organization. I'm all about, you know, making sure things are in order. So, you know, sometimes kids don't want to, they, they, they don't want, they don't want structure because you're teaching it to them right now. So, no, they might not want to be um, around that all the time. You know what I'm talking about? But I'm trying to make sure that my children 
um, are raised in an environment where they'll be able to be productive citizens and like if anything were to happen, they'll be able to um, be self-sufficient. They'll be able to live without any assistance. Cause Mariah, oh, oh, Daddy, Daddy, oh, oh, it's okay, sweetheart. Malia, it's okay, Malia, it's okay. Um, but it's like um, so so who knows how to cook? Who knows how to cook in here? Me. Well, who taught you guys how to cook? Dad. Dad. What else have Daddy um taught you guys? You guys, Martel, you know how to drive? Yes, sir. <laughs> well, all y'all know how to drive, right? Oh, y'all know how to drive, like RZ yards and things like that, four wheelers, right? Yeah, I can drive your car, Dad. So it's like, you know, I've taught my, my kids, you know, how to pray, you know, start off with, hold on, Lonnie, hold on, sweetheart. Oh, give her a um, cup, Martell. Give her a cup, Martell. Oh, sit down, Leah, Leah. So we can get her to go, guys. We still got plenty of time. But, you know, um, I've taught my kids everything, you know, structure. When when you guys come in the house, what do you got? When y'all come into Daddy's house, what you do first? Take our shower. To, but, but first you do what? Eat, eat. No. no, no, no. Put our clothes in the washing machine. <laughs> when they first enter the house, you know, they got to put their clothes in the washing machine, right? Jump straight in the shower. Let's do homework. Let's read. Let's, um, you know, for bed. You know, we, we pray, you know? So it's like, you know, you have to instill certain things, qualities into these kids, whether they like it right now or not, because they don't understand. But as time progresses, they'll be very thankful. Very thankful. So, uh, I, I tell you, you know, if you're going to, you know, reprimand children and things like that, you have to, you have to be instilling certain qualities in, in the kids. Hey guys, have Marcus, Uncle Marcus ever read to you guys? No, sir. No? No, sir. Has he ever prayed with you guys? No, sir. No, sir. Has he, Mariah? I'm just asking, has he? Does daddy read to you guys? Yes, sir. Do daddy pray with you guys at night? Yes, sir. Like last night. No. There's no acting over here, guys. There's no acting. And, and then, too, another thing that just disturbed me on yesterday, I found out that um, Melody, she she dropped my children off. Um, this was Sunday. Dropped my children off with all four of my children with a female babysitter who has a child. So there's five kids for her. That's five kids for her in an apartment, right? And Melody goes to a whole nother state. Guys, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. But Melody goes to a whole nother state. And she hasn't come back to this day. And today is Wednesday. So she goes to a whole nother state. Don't even let me know. Just in case anything were to happen to my children. That's one thing about it. I know we're going through a divorce. We um, were separated. But my kids are my kids 24-7. They're my kids 24-7. So if you're going to a whole nother state. And you're going to leave my four children here with a, a a single female with a child what kind of sisters that make and not letting the dad know of what's going on it's crazy and then she still don't come in town um to to pack their clothes um to get things in order no she has a baby she has a babysitter babysitter you know get things um together but it's just her with four of my children. With four of my children. And, and and not only that, it's like now all four of my kids coming to me with dirty clothes. You know, hey, I have no problem. I wash clothes every single day. I love order. I love structure. I love neatness, cleanness, and all that kind of stuff. I instilled all that into my children. I instilled all that into my children you know you know you'll see my kids like hugging you'll you'll see them being um very um you know they well mannered you know yes sir no sir no ma'am you know they'll greet you with a hug and things of that nature yeah i instill those qualities into them no one else me so and um yeah i mean if you go send kids over here you know we got 50 50 of the time yeah, make sure that my children come over here with clean clothes and things like that. Don't add extra onto um, anybody. No, do that. Let me go down this list. Oh, and to top it off, I'm, I'm gonna speak on everything. You know what I'm saying? Because I just see all y'all y'all fans out there. You know, root for me. That's good. Root for her. You know, got a song coming out. You know, that's um, 
you know, they're still sharing, sharing business. So I don't want nobody, I don't want nobody saying that, oh, you shouldn't bring it to social media, leave y'all business between y'all. No, we stopped leaving our business um, amongst each other a long time ago, okay? So I don't sing, I don't rap, but guess what? I have a mouth and here we go, okay? And um, so one, another thing that bothered me so badly, you know, um, my kids told me that uh, mommy only gave my baby girl a, um, she only bathed her like one time since she's been with them. Um, and, that, and she was with them, what, seven days? You know, we have seven days. I take that back. She had, she hasn't bathed, she didn't bathe her. The last time she bathed her was Thursday. Thursday. And I got my kids on Monday. We go speak it, speak it. Men, if any men look, li listen to this, women want to, um, not us to be, you know, responsive. They don't want us to say anything. They want us to be quiet while they drag us through social media, while they drag us through life and we just sit back and be quiet because when we speak, it's us acting like a female. You know what? I'm all male. I'm all man. But I tell you what, I'm going to speak. I'm going to defend myself and I'm going to let the truth be told. I don't care if any of y'all, I don't care about y'all being on my side. You guys, I, I, I don't care. But guess what I am going to do? I'm going to put the truth out there. From here on out, I'm not going to think twice. I'm putting the truth out there because I think this, this is where everybody comes to social media to put everything out. I've been on social media now for a little over two years. Been over two years, and the only reason I'm on social media too is because of what? My TV show, Love and Marriage Huntsville. That's the reason I'm on, on, on social media because of that. You know, it's a lot of mess goes on on here, but since I'm here and everything's been talked about me on social media, so now I'm going to defend myself and I'm not gonna think twice about it and I'm gonna put the truth out. You know, it's gonna be truth in that, that song, so I'm gonna put truth right here, just period. And um, yeah. And that is it. So while Marcus, Marcus talking to you, so while you posting pictures, showing stuff, yeah. Keep your hands to yourself. Don't ever touch Martell's kids. So you guys heard that. And then Melody, she went live because Martell would keep her from leaving, you know, like keep her from getting her stuff from the house and stuff. So she went live and did this video. She looked at bow out gracefully, move on, move on. You've been talking to this chick for five years, and then after I leave you, I find out about other chicks you've been trying to holler at. People in my inbox sending me screenshots of stuff. Like, move on. Because I have. I don't bother Martell, y'all. Martell asked me for certain things, I give it to him. Martell asked me to do certain things, I do it. Okay, sure, not a problem. But then you're going to go to this and go to social media and try to make me seem a certain way? Hell no. And think I ain't going to respond? Hell no. But I won't respond again. That's for sure. Now I'm saying what I'm saying and that's what it is. I left you. I filed for divorce. You told me you had a baby on the way. You told me you had a baby on the way, Martell. And that she wasn't getting rid of it because of something about she done got rid of kids for y'all before and she wasn't doing it at this time or whatever. So why are you even bothering me? So I'm asking you now, just leave me alone. Let me and my people, uh, who we, my fans, all of us, continue to do what we doing, okay? Being successful, working, that's what we're doing, okay? And I advise you to do the same. Okay, so you guys heard what they had to say. So, like, Melody is thriving and growing and stuff, you know, and if anything, she's the one that survived him, you know. I don't I don't think it's fair that he had to say that he was a survivor, you know. Upscale Magazine really dropped the ball with this, and I heard that they were deleting comments, like, all the comments that were on Upscale yesterday that was dragging them are no longer there, so they definitely are feeling the heat of this, you know. But, I mean, I guess all publicity is good publicity, even the negative ones, so. Um, but, yeah, what do you guys think about this drop your comments below and don't forget to like comment subscribe for more videos from empress radio okay bye